Hi everyone. Um, so I wanted to share a couple of rapture dreams that I have had. The first one that I want to share is, um, it's a dream that I've had over 20 years ago. It was the first rapture dream I've ever had. In my dream, um, so at the time I was living in Germany and in my dream, I was in the home where I was living in Germany and I was asleep on my bed, but all of a sudden I see the snake coming into my room and the snake uh, um, started to lift its body up like a cobra and look at me in the face. And as the snake was doing that, I got up, like I jumped up on the bed um, I couldn't get to the floor, like get off the bed because the snake was, you know, going to attack me. So I just, um, I stood up on the bed and I saw the window and I thought, okay, how can I make it out of the window before the snake strikes me? I looked out of the corner of my eye and I see this angel on this enormous horse. A white horse and he was extending his hand out but I was looking at the snake because the snake was also trying to strike at me at the moment that the snake went to strike at me I instantly grabbed the angels hand and he pulled me on the back of his horse when I was on the back of the angels horse I realized that there were thousands and thousands, if not millions, of these angels on white horses, like an entire military of angels with white clothing on, and they were picking people up. And I remember this one specific angel who had picked me up flew he flew over across the Atlantic Ocean and he flew all the way to the United States where my family lives and he flew right over my family's home and nobody came. No angel picked anyone up. So that was really disheartening to me. It, it made me really sad but at the same time I was so excited because I was going home with my father. Um, and that was it. I woke up. Um, I hope this dream will encourage others. Um, I hope it will lift you up if you're feeling discouraged. And for those of you who haven't uh, decided to get right with Christ, I really do hope that you will open up a Bible and just read it and ask God with all sincerity, just plead to him and ask him for mercy. If God can forgive me, if God can fill me with his Holy Spirit, he can forgive and fill anyone with his Holy Spirit. I really hope this encourages anyone out there. And I know that the Lord is near. Um, we're just we just have to be patient and hold on to what we have. We cannot lose it. And for those of you believers who don't have your home in order, who is not walking right with Christ, uh, run, run away from your sins and run away from your backslidden ways and repent. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Hope this encourages someone out there. Goodbye.